Hi, my name is Ruha and I'm going to talk about my Take Action Challenge. Um, so originally I had two ideas and one of them was to create an after school club for um, a group of my friends. And the goal of the club was, um, I, I really didn't want it to be so planned, I wanted it to be flexible. Um, but it would just serve as a safe space for my friends to come together and you know, share whatever is on their minds as young girls trying to figure out what to do in the world. And um, maybe some of the topics that we would talk about would be beauty standards or consent or toxic relationships. Um, so that was the first idea. And the second part was I just really wanted to learn how to crowdfund and raise money that way. And since I heard you know about the Pangea Network and what they're doing, I thought it would be a good idea to possibly raise money for one of their kids there. Um, so the beginning of my project, I actually started pretty late because I just didn't have uh, free time. Um, but I created a GoFundMe page uh, in November and um, some of the challenges I faced were overestimation of how much free time I would have because in the summer it's so easy to just plan things. Uh, but when I actually had to do them, I realized that um, I don't actually have <laughs> that much free time as a junior, as a high school junior. Um, another challenge was uh, people's inability to donate, and that's just uh, the people around me uh, that I would um, share the GoFundMe page with. And that was either through Facebook or Instagram, uh, because obviously I could reach out to organizations, and I did. But most of the people I shared them with were my family, my friends. And a lot of people just, you know, weren't in a financial situation to donate, which is fine. Um, and then lastly, uh, another challenge, and this is kind of, uh, maybe not everybody faces this, but um, when talking about possibly starting a club, um, a lot of my friends were just not interested in it. And some of them were busy and they said um, that they wouldn't come. And this is not coming from like a mean place or a non-supportive place, and I understand if um, you know, it's not something that they're interested in. But recently I got introduced to a new club that is already at Conrad and it's called Journeys. And Journeys works with immigrants and um, I thought maybe I could do a collaboration with them possibly in the future. Uh, maybe with the girls that attend Journeys. But um, yeah, that's as far as I've gone with that um, idea. And my major success is that I raised two hundred dollars through the almost two hundred dollars through the crowdfund, uh, the GoFundMe page. And advice I have uh, for anybody who wants to do their own take action challenge, number one is to be realistic because it's so easy to just make plans, uh, random plans that maybe your community doesn't need or maybe you can't um, bring about, and when the time actually comes. So be realistic, don't overestimate, don't underestimate. And my second advice would be that it's okay to have to change your plan and it's okay to fail um, because, you know, it's, it's a learning process and this is everybody's first time pretty much doing this. Um, so yeah, take it easy on yourself and just have fun pretty much. And I'm just going to end it with this quote uh, by Angela Davis that says, I'm no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I'm changing the things I cannot accept. Thank you.